Well, this camera has reached the end of its service. Um, yeah, it was fun. I got uh, a lot of videos with this, this one too. But uh, yeah, we're just going to take it apart and see what's in it. And uh, looks like uh, just tiny Phillips screws. There's some hidden ones. So, yeah, I'll bring you back when I got all the screws out of it. And uh, curious to see. it. Uh, yeah, it's just acting up way too much. I removed the uh, battery, the tape, the lens. Um, the strap looks like it's fixed in there. I don't want to cut it yet because that might have some usefulness somewhere. But yeah, it's, uh, yeah, let me get to it here. Well, it's pretty nice. They used all the same size screws except for one. So we got the outer cover off. And this will be the view of the tape drive mechanism. It's sort of like a, if you ever took apart a VHS player, um, it's sort of a shrunk down version of that. So I see a lot of more little screws in there, but I'd like to get the other side off. Well, I didn't know it had a battery. I'm wondering if that could have been the problem. Mm, I mean, I'd, I'm at a point where I can put it back together and try it. What do y'all think? Well, we didn't have the right battery, but we had a battery. So, we get to see how this works. Okay, wrap the tape. Press play. Oh, wait a It's still kicking it out. It goes in and stops. All right, now try play. Wait, wait a minute. I think it's got to be in the camera mode. Down here, this little. There, okay. Now press play. All right, the tape is moving. Let's see how long it runs. I'll bring you back. Yeah, it's giving me that error message up there. Something eject. So yeah, battery didn't fix it. Well, I just uploaded that uh, video from my old camcorder uh, when we was Germany in 1988, and then some stuff from 1990 a little bit of beach stuff but uh yeah i've got two or three books full of dvds um so anyhow i uh, got the other side of this camera opened up and i was looking through it and i might be able to find the diode that i need in here but uh my next is i'm going to remove these ribbon cables so we can remove you know different housings i still got the back cover to get off want to take a look inside that so yeah that uh it's really compact for the the age okay so i removed the side cover the front cover uh still working on the back cover but this is an interesting uh flex ribbon cable arrangement so this connector goes to this motor and then this connector went here it looks like a maybe a race head this connector here went to the drum and this connector went to the drum this connector goes to something there and then this connector actually ribbons off and keeps on going so yeah, it's just uh, interesting how they arrange this thing. Well, I'm getting there, but 
my temperature thing says it's 82 degrees out there yeah I got the doors open so that's the little black and white viewfinder that has to be the smallest LCD uh, I did look on there there is a diode it looks to be a 7 amp diode I've seen a couple other ones on the boards but yeah I, I honestly I thought that was a little pitcher tube in there oops like I said I thought that was a little pitcher tube in there and yeah I had to get a little medieval on it to open this up but yeah uh, yeah we're gonna keep that it's it's got a part on there that's we're salvaging okay folks here it is uh yeah i'll be keeping some of this uh i looked for a date on the board and i think i found one chip that had 1990 on it so uh yeah i was looking for any revisions now uh this is the main board that was in there i did see some diodes but i'll have to look up the numbers on those there's a couple up here so yeah i gotta look them numbers up uh, i'm still going to open this guy up uh nothing really useful on this board uh this is like the focus board and where the little battery went for i guess that was to to keep the date and time in it this is the little viewfinder we just got done looking at um, i always thought that was a like a little mini TV, black and white TV. Tape transport, we're not keeping that. We're not keeping that. Um, some audio jacks. Nothing really useful there. Nope, 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 nope. Uh, little electric motor, might check that out. Tiny springs, shielding. I am going to keep this. It's a threaded insert. I can make another... Uh, camera holder out of that uh, flex stuff nope we're not keeping it that's the uh, the spinny head the tape head not keeping that this is the power board it's got a fuse on there might be handy not much else going on case little LED thing yeah, we're not keeping any of this stuff over here. So, really, the only thing I'm, I'm going to keep is this and the circuit board. This one and the TV camera one, because I believe it had, yeah, it's got a 7 amp diode on it. So, that's the keep pile. I still want to tear this down, so I'll get back with you on that. So, I guess to wrap this up, uh, this is the... Um, pick up the video pickup lens it's a really it's I guess not that small it had good color video back in the day but uh, yeah not a whole lot to that nothing to keep here these are the motors for the uh, uh, focus and the zoom the zoom would work with that piece right there then it has a little lens in here and that's got the big lens and yeah it's not good for anything I mean it's I thought you might be able to use it like an inspection type thing but it turns everything upside down so yeah nothing to keep here so this is what I'm keeping I did get the strap out of it a couple circuit boards just mainly for some parts that I may need later on and maybe another project here so all right all these screws are going to get tossed but it was pretty much a non-destructive teardown I did have to break a couple things but overall yeah it was fun kept me busy thanks for watching